now we can truly see the uh, position of the rotator cuff okay so before you can only see like a little bit of the belly there but now you can see that they actually go all the way into the humerus so this here is the humerus bone yeah and then the rotator cuff essentially wraps around the um, head of the humerus there so if we just multi-select these three segments of the rotator cuff you can see them there see how essentially like if you multi-select them they look like one muscle that's what's so interesting it's like one big system that essentially these two down here so if we deselect the super basically the infrasatus and the uh, teres minor they're responsible for the external rotation so when you rotate the arm outwards that's what these mu that's when these muscles are essentially contracting and when you turn the arm inwards that's when uh, these muscles are stretching that's how they work so the concentric contraction is the external rotation and the eccentric contraction is, is the uh, internal rotation okay now what most people do is that they load up the cable machine and they do a lot of these movements without really thinking about the concentric and eccentric attractions here uh, and this is where like when it comes to rehab the uh, the speed of these movements especially this exercise plays a massive role okay but again this is a different story for a different time where we are targeting these exercises let's just continue here so if we again just multi select all three of them you can see how they wrap around but we're missing something, okay? We are missing the last piece of the puzzle, and that is the subscapularis or the subscap in short. Now, the subscap is actually positioned onto the front of the uh, scapula. You can actually see it there coming from uh, underneath the rib cage. Okay, so if you imagine the scapula, You've got the infraspinatus on the posterior aspect and you've got the subscap on the anterior asp aspect. So basically the infraspinatus and the subscapularis are uh, two sides of the same coin. If the scapula is the coin, then these two muscles are the two faces because uh, they are agonist and antagonist muscles. Um, obviously, the subscap creates internal rotation, so it essentially brings the shoulder inwards, whereas the infraspinatus creates the external rotation. So whenever one of the muscles contracts, the other the other one um, stretches out, and then vice versa. Whenever one the other one contracts, the other one stretches out. Okay. When I say stretches out, I don't mean like for example when you're stretching your pec, you'll be able to feel like a massive deep stretch into the muscle fiber. It doesn't work like that. With these small muscles, it's, it's like a tiny eccentric contraction that's, that's occurring there. But this eccentric contraction can be used to rehab tendons, muscle tears, and then everything that's related to shoulder pain coming from the rotator cuff. That's why it's so important. Okay?